Hey guys, last video we seen about how to use Louis list in Bot Framework Composer. In this video, we are going to see how to use array and for loop in Composer. Here we seen there are two entities found, one for coffee and another for tea. There are two use cases you can take it. One for you want to handle both the entities to process to the next step or you want to give the option to the user Hey, I found two entities, which one you want to prefer your order, whether you want coffee or tea. Like that, we can take second use case. I'm going to handle the second use case. So once more than one entity found here in the example, more than order type, more than one found coffee, tea or something else, we show prompt to the user. I found two or three or four entities, something like that. Choose your preferred option that we are going to implement using for loop and array concept. Let's start. First thing I'm going to found, I'm going to find how many order type entities present. For that, I'm going to add the condition, create a condition, write an expression function i'm going to use pre-built function called count this count i'm going to found number of order types total number of order type i just copy this one sorry this one if greater than one in the true case we are give the option to the user false case just pass this information to the order dialog for false case, I'm going to change one thing. Instead of passing this order type here, I'm going to assign to one property. Just go to false, manage property, set a property, dialog dot selected type, let's say. I'm just pass this information, order type this property i'm going to pass it here i will tell why we make sure the changes it will look or not we just confirm it reset the bot open web chat reset the conversation need to order coffee just only one entity i'm going to pass it's working fine Just close it. The next thing is, okay, if more than one entity found, we are going to loop one by one and add the value into the array. Then we are going to use multi-choice prompt to give the option to the user, pick one item. If user picked that item, we are going to pass this information to this order dialog. Here, I am going to go to the looping for each item. Which item we have to use? We have to use this. Oh, sorry. We have to use this order type. We have to pass as the item property. So I just copy this variable and go to here. This item property, I have to use this one order type loop one by one. Next, this value we have to store into the array because we don't know more than one number of item it will come so we have to handle this one using the array only go to this add node go to manage property here you can see there is option edit and array property use this one first thing is type of change we have to push push means we are going to add the item one by one in array so i selected a push here and item property, this item property called dialog dot, we call this order list. And value, I just go to here, use this one, value property, dialog dot for each dot value. This value, let it store into the array. Here it gets stored, okay. We make sure, confirm whether this is working or not. 
for that i'm going to add the send response just print the array value that's it restart the bot open web chat restart the conversation need to order coffee and tea it's processed the array is uh, get display but the value get not stored it's a small mistake i made it here we have to use this dollar sign and add this one that's it again restart the bot confirm it open web chat restart the conversation send same message need to order coffee and This time, the array element get displayed properly, coffee and tea. The next step we are going to do, here you can notice it will come because we are not assigning anything in the dialog.selected type. So it's empty, automatically the value get not filled, this prompt will come to picture. Okay. We have to give the option to the user, select one item, not this type of array, okay. So first I disable this one. I don't want to this one. So disable it. Next I'm going to add the prompt. Multi-choice. This multi-choice. Uh, hey. I found. Found. Maybe we can use the same here. The count. Just. I found a number of items, something like that. Yeah, I found items. I total total items. Pick one. Pick one of them, like that. Okay, next move to next move to user input. In this user input, the property name I'm going to use the same dialog dot selected type. So select dialog dot selected type. Next we have to pass the array. Just scroll down and there is an option you can see array of choices. Default it will come with the simple choices. Instead of that we have to use the write an expression equal to we have to pass the array. We mention, uh, we define array as a dialog dot order list. So just going to use dialog dot order list. Maybe the a list style I changed to hero card. That's it. I restart the bot. Open web chat. I restart the conversation. Need to order coffee and tea. Here you see. Okay, this also not needed. Just disable next time. It will come. It will check the condition. Okay, total number of item greater than one. It will come inside. We loop one by one. All the item, all the value gets stored into the array. Dialog dot order list here. This dialog, we use the multi choice and give the option to the user. Hey, I found total two items. That's what the here you can see the bot response. Here we mention hey, I found total. Just count. We are printing. Pick one of them. If user pick one, let's say I pick this time T here. Oh, sorry, some issue. T. Automatically, the value get passed to here. Order dialog. Value get assigned. The pop-up, it won't come to picture. It's directly printing the value. If you go to order dialog, here you can see we are printing this value. Or I just add. Thank you 
for your order something like this okay go to the order i don't want to this one i just disable so make sure open web chat register the conversation this time i must send i just move this cursor need to order coffee tea and soft drinks Did you notice this time Louis able to found three items: coffee, tea, and soft drinks. Again, the same operation. So here I found total three items. Pick one of them. This time I click soft drinks. Here you see, automatically the value get passed to the order dialog. In the order dialog, the value get filled, so it's not pop up to the user. Finally, we are move to the next step. Thank you for order soft drinks.